So let's talk some about uh, the interim. I know the, the final bill that was passed uh, for our TRTA agenda, or for the TRS of, of legislation at least, uh, is an interim committee study. And so we have, um, we have a, 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 a new committee that will meet for the next 18 months. I'm not sure exactly how, you know, how often they're gonna meet, but if um, I, I remember Chair Huffman saying during the legislative session, it's not gonna be a one day meeting where we just come together one time in the Capitol and we just say all the things everybody wants to hear. Uh, listening to Chair Huffman talk, it sounds like it's gonna be a real study a real work group. And so there are going to be three members of the Senate, three members of the House that will serve on this interim committee. And tell us a little bit about, you know, what TRTA's uh, activity role, you know, how do we see that? What, what, what are you thinking about the interim here, Bill? Tim, I think it's a good bill. I think Senator Huffman was right on target for um, having this uh, interim study done on health care. Uh, solutions we have asked from the very beginning that we wanted to be a part of that conversation that uh, we are the clients that are impacted by this and we want to be a part of the solution so I'm, I'm I'll just say that up front mm -hmm. I'm really glad I think it, if it's a real study they'll go around the state in groups hear, hear from the uh, stakeholders of how this can be fixed there's different elements you've got that group that it, or in my case Medicare age uh, with TRS care is a supplement. Then you've got the pre-Medicare age. Uh, you've got active insurance mm. that, that's got to be addressed. It's a huge, uh, it's a huge concern for this state and how they're going to address these issues. So in my opinion, it is extremely important for our members and for all retirees, the, the actives too, to have their input into that process so that at the end of the day, when all the decisions are made, they have all the information and the impact that, that's going to happen. So I look forward to seeing how that's going to develop. I, I agree. I think that there was, um, there was a lot of discussion during session uh, about how it may occur and when, uh, when the sessions will start. There was some conversation early that was suggesting that, the, that the, they may have groups, uh, which is not uncommon for the legislature to do it on interim committee, to go around the state, uh, and our, our retirees need to be engaged. They need to be ready to talk about how the health insurance is a vital part of their retirement security and what it would mean if we were to make certain kinds of changes uh, to our retiree health insurance program. You know, um, Ronnie, Bill mentioned the active care. Um, no real resolutions on active care this session. Of course, a lot of our members have children who are now teaching and who have uh, uh, active care as their health insurance. So it's pretty much status quo for active care as we know it right now, is that about right? Right, the, uh, the retiree fund, we got fully funded without premium increases. The active, on the other hand, have been seeing premium increases every year of eight, 10, 15, 20%, and it's very likely they will continue to see it. So that, that will be a big issue too, since there was no specific funding. Uh, so we got 800, 768 million for here is care but active care got no extra money that I'm aware of. So they're going to be, so that will be part of the study. We'll be looking at both people as they work in their career and then when they retire. So I think that's a good logical uh, match. Well, um, we're kind of wrapping up here and uh, we're going to have some final thoughts. And I want to turn to you, Bill, and, you know, give us some of your final thoughts about this legislative session and as we sort of look forward into the interim here. My, I'm very glad that I was a part of the process on this team, you know, working for the, the issues that were very uh, dear to the hearts of retirees. I'm very appreciative, and, I, and I'll just say it on the part of all retirees, we're very appreciative of the, the, the money that was allocated for our health care. Mm -hmm. And the intent of the legislature is not to raise premiums, so that is huge. Mm -hmm. uh, just a great big thank you for that. I really appreciate that. Um, I think it's very important in this interim time for retirees to thank their legislators, uh, their senators, their uh, representatives, um, and thank them for the support that they give us. And you know, Tim, I have never had a, a legislator tell me that I'm not welcome in their office. Uh, that's huge. Mm -hmm. You know, I appreciate that. That that. Uh, I 
had one yesterday, a staffer, I was in a senator's office, and he said, you're always welcome to come in here and express your thoughts. So I appreciate that opportunity. So that opportunity is extended to all of our retirees that they do that. And um, I, my, the legislative committee will meet, be meeting in July. We will be talking about these issues. We will be developing a plan of action of what, what we need to do. I look forward to being a part of the, the, the process. And, these interim study, this interim study that's being done and, and around the state, I can't tell you how important it is for our members to turn out for that those meetings, to hear the discussions and give their input to to that group that will be uh, collecting all that information. Well, I think that's well said, and um, on, and on behalf of Ronnie and Vicki Truitt, uh, who works uh, with our legislative team. Uh, we want to thank you, Bill, for your leadership uh, during this legislative process. Uh, we also want to thank uh, our TRTA Board of Directors, our State President, uh, Fran Plemons, who often came to the legislature uh, to help press issues with us as well. Uh, and we want to thank our members for all of the work that you have put into helping us with this 140 days of legislative session. Uh, there is so much more work that needs to be done uh, but you're helping us get the results that we need to get. We're not going to win every issue in every legislative session, but we will come back and be ready to fight for you uh, in the next legislative session. Until then, we have a lot of work to do. We really appreciate you following us on Facebook and on Twitter. We know that you're watching our YouTube channel. Uh, this is something that we're going to continue uh, for the interim, uh, and we are going to get to more of your questions. We've already received our first batch of questions uh, from members asking uh, what they would like to know more about through our TRTA TV channel. Keep those coming and we're going to have a series of those starting soon. Again, thank you so much for all of your work and support. Uh, have a great day.